All right, this video is going to walk us through how to make the the base generic screen for the Schneider Electric Magellus that we can build upon later on uh, to talk to our Tweedo PLC. So the program that we're looking for, we'll go to our start menu. We're going to Visual Designer, so we're going to double click on this guy. Okay, and we're going to create a new project. So you can see that I've been working on a 4 to 20 analog setup. Uh, but we'd like to create a new project and next thing we'll do is we'll hit next okay we're, i'm going to call this uh, my base screen or why don't we call it uh, generic screen come on okay um let's see you can put a password in here we're going to have a single target for now target is just uh the hmi so we're going to go to next because we don't need any other explanation here and the next thing we're going to do uh, target name okay well I'm going to call this my HMI and the target type um, now this may not come up right away um, I have chosen this from a previous time that I was working on this but I'm using the 2000 series and I'm specifically using the XBTGT 2330 that's my model number for the HMI that's in front of me Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is hit next. So you're going to choose your target type. That, so there's a number of different series there. So I'm using the 2000 series, and then I'm specifically choosing the 2330. Excellent. Okay, next we're going to hit next. Okay, we're going to assign it an IP address. So we're going to click on this. Uh, the IP address that I'm going to use is 192. Dot one six eight dot two and the specific IP address I'm going to use is dot let's see dot twelve. Okay, the subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and the default gateway is one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one. Excellent. Okay. Um, let me quickly show you how you find the IP address of your computer so that you can match um, your IP address of your PLC and your HMI to match with the network that you're working on. Okay. So in order to do that, you come down here to your start menu and you type in, what are we typing in? Command prompt. And this brings up our command prompt window. The next thing we're going to put in is IP config. So IPCONFIG, then hit enter, and it provides you with the IP address of your computer. So you can see here, my computer's IP address is 192.168.2.155. Subnet mask is the same as we just put in there for the HMI, and the default gateway is 192.168.2.1. Okay, uh, just make sure that you're, you're using IP addresses for your PLC and for your HMI that match with the network that you're on. Okay, once we're done seeing this, then we can use that in order to determine our specific IP that we're going to give to the HMI. And everything looks good. We don't need an audit trail, so we're going to hit next. Okay, uh, we don't have an equipment list or anything like that. So the last thing we're going to do is fit, hit finish. Okay, so that error message makes me a little bit nervous, but uh, we're going to keep going here. And hopefully it doesn't screw us up in the in the end. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in um, a background to our HMI. Because this one's just a, a black background, um, but I like to put in a nice fancy background there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the screen here. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image. So I'm coming up to here to Image. And then now on the image drop down screen, you have image and image capture. So I'm just going to do image and I'm going to select the whole screen here. There we go. Come on, left clicking there. Okay. And then I'm able to drop in an image from my computer. So I'm going to go to my computer. Let me pause while I find the exact folder that I have this guy in. 
Okay, so from the previous video, I have found this brushed metal uh, silver from the internet. Uh, I love this name. I've kept the name from before. Brush Metal Silver Textured by Sweet Soul Sister. <laughs> Love it. So we're going to grab this guy and we're going to hit open. There we go. And you can see that we've just gone from um, a black background to a nice brush metal design for the background of our HMI. Right on. Okay. As we're going, we're going to save. So we're going to keep saving the project as we make these small changes. Uh, what are we going to do next? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in a switch because what happens is that uh, on previous times that I've worked with this HMI, I've lost the ability to put in the specific IP address. You're supposed to be able to hold your finger against like two sides of the of the HMI and be able to get to the configuration of the HMI. If you know how to do that or you can send me to a video that shows me how to do that, I greatly appreciate it. I have not been able to do that. So on all of my base home screens, I always put a little uh, push button there so I can get to the system configuration. Okay, so uh, you can see that I'm still in the image mode here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over to the left hand side and I'm going to do the selection tool and just click on that guy. Now I'm back to my base arrow here. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is come to here and put in a switch. So right here with the green and the red, we're going to put in a switch. Uh, maybe let's make this a little bit bigger here, right? Let's zoom in just a touch. There we go. Okay, and let's center this so we can see what we're doing. Okay, whatever. Okay, so just in the bottom left-hand corner, I'm going to put a switch here. So I'm using my left mouse button and then double-clicking on the left mouse button and it brings up everything for that switch. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. So, um, well, I'll change the style first. So over here, you can see style. Uh, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do this style right here, like the raised push button. Uh, let's see if we browse here. Is there some other stuff that we can use? Let's see what the nicest one is here. So all kinds of selection, almost too much selection here. I really just want to have a push button that I can just press. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this guy right here. This 05, or maybe this guy. I can't make up my mind. Okay, uh, I'm going to do this style right here. So we'll hit OK. Oh, next thing I'm going to do actually is do the, uh, okay, hit OK. There we go. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is do the color because that green's just a little bit too intense there. So how do we get to the color? Okay, here's the four color. So we'll click on this guy. Very nice. Okay, and I just need like a muted blue. Ooh, that's very nice. Okay, we'll hit OK. Um, and the name for this guy is going to be uh, System Configuration. Okay, it looks good. What else do we need to do? Let's see how that looks and then we'll see if we need some, to make some changes. Switch configuration name doesn't follow the naming convention. Okay, so we'll just do it switch one. Okay, maybe the label. Oh, label type. Okay, label here. And we're going to do a static label. Okay, and the label here is going to be system config. There we go. Uh, and the size of this guy for the font. Um, I've made a note that I like the, uh, the font at six by 10. So let's see. There it is. Uh, Visual modern, modern six by 10. Beautiful. Okay. So, uh, first thing I did was I went to general here, right? And I went to the style. I chose my style of switch. Then I went to the color and I chose the four color there. And the next thing I did was I went to label, then I went to system config and used the visual modern six by 10. And that'll provide me with that system config now. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back to general now. And it looks like everything's cool so far. So I'm going to hit okay and see what it comes up with. Hey, nice. Looks good. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to set this up for what it actually does. So again, I'm in that 
push button. So I need to come over here to the left hand side, do the selection tool again. Uh, and then I'm going to hover over the system config um, and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button. And I need to set this guy up so it actually goes to the system configuration. Now I could have done that on the previous window. I just wanted to show you how you can get to the information for this guy. So you do double left click on the left mouse button. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to operation and we're going to drop this menu down. We're scrolling down until we see system and I click on system and we're looking for a configuration. So restart runtime, exit runtime, configuration. I'm going to click on this guy for the configuration. Uh, and at that point, you'd think that everything is, uh, is set up, but we have to add it to everything that this push button does. So even though this is selected right now, this push button is going to do nothing. So we need to come over here and hit add. And that'll add that as um, one of the things that this push button is going to do. Okay, once that guy is done, then now we can hit OK. Beautiful. Okay, so this is our base background um, and our system config button for our HMI. The next thing we need to do now is we need to download this guy to the HMI and make sure that everything's working properly. Okay, so in order to download this guy, there's a number of things we have to do. So we're going to come up here to build. So the top left hand corner here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean all and clean all just gets rid of any feedback that was there. Then we're going down, we're just basically doing clean all, validate all, and then build all. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to validate everything we've created. We've got a green light there, so that's good. Then we're clicking on build and then build all. That's going to create everything that we just put onto our HMI screen. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to download. So again, we're going to go to build. We're scrolling down here to download all and we're clicking on this guy. And we're going to download projects to all targets. Looks good. Uh, let me just pause for two seconds. I'll turn on my camera and we'll do a picture in picture so you can see the HMI as I download to it. Okay, so now we've got the screen over here that we can take a look at while I download this guy. So download project to all targets. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Looks good. Okay, so you'll see that the screen goes dark and it's downloading everything that we just created. You can see that it's providing us with the IP address that it's sending it to. And then hopefully in a few seconds, we'll see the same image as we have our, on our computer screen. Oh, nice. Right on. Okay, so it worked. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it actually um, allows us to get to this system config. So I'm going to press this button and hopefully it provides me with a new window where I can get into the configurations. Nice. Right on. Okay, so you can see here that you get uh, offline system diagnostics. So there's a number of things that you can look at here. What we're primarily looking for um, is, let's see, no, offline. There we go. So offline, and we're looking for the network. So we'll hit network here. Working with the offline will stop the user. Okay, so just turn off the runtime. That's good. You hit OK, and it brings you into a window that provides us with the IP address for this HMI. And this is what you're gonna see when you initially power up the HMI. You need to provide it with an appropriate IP so you can talk to it. There we go. So 192.168.2.12 is the IP address. Our subnet mask was 255.255.255.0. And then the default gateway was 192.168.2.1. Excellent. Okay, I wanna go back to my main screen. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to go back to the run mode now. Shut down and restart to enable settings. Restart now, yes.
There we go. Beautiful. So that's our basic setup there, guys. Uh, we'll stop the video there and we'll continue on. We'll, we'll start to build up uh, additional things, but we can always come back to this video uh, in order to go through the steps in order to create our background there uh, and to create this push button right here, uh, which is mimicked right here to allow us to get into the system configuration. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for your patience. Any comments or likes, leave them below. Thanks, guys. See you soon.